So the sea had been relentless. I tasted the salt on my lips, felt the cold pool of the water as we struggled to shore. By God's grace, all of us survived and the shipwreck should have been the end, but I knew it was not. My work wasn't done. So we found ourselves on the island of Malta, greeted by kind people who showed us hospitality I did not expect. And they built a fire for us to warm us and we huddled around it grateful for the heat against our cold soaked bodies and I could feel the weariness in my bones but there was peace in my heart. I trusted that the Lord had brought us here for a reason though it was not clear to me yet. I knew it had to have been for a reason. I knelt to gather some wood for the fire. The moment I lifted the pile a sharp pain shot through my hand. I looked down and saw the viper, its fangs buried in my flesh. The people around me gasped, recoiling in horror. I could hear their whispers, their voices filled with fear and superstition. He must be cursed, they said. The sea did not claim him, but a snake will, and he's gonna die. Do you know how much humbleness it took for me not to speak to them as they're talking about my fatality and my death? But I knew my God had something great for me. I knew he still was taking me somewhere. I knew better. God's promises were so sure for my life and his hand was over me. There was no fear in my heart, not even a tremble or, or a tremor of doubt. I, stood, I sat there and I shook the viper off into the fire and watched it as it burnt. I could see the amazement in their eyes, but to me, it was just another reminder of the Lord's protection. He had delivered me from so much before. This snake, it can't be nothing compared to everything else that I've gone through. I knew it would have no power over me. I felt the weight of their stares as the minutes passed and nothing happened. They waited for me to swell, to collapse, to die, but I remained standing unharmed. Their wonder quickly turned to reverence. They began to murmur that I must be a god. I sighed knowing how easily people misplaced their awe, but I did not come to receive their worship. I came to a point, I came to tell them of the one true God. Over the days that followed, I was invited to the home of Publius, the island's chief official. His father lay sick. He must have connected the dots in his head that I know a true God, the real God. Because after they've witnessed the miracle of me just shaking off this, this viper that usually kills people, it's, it's all, a lot of people has fallen dead from this. He must have known, okay, hey, I need the real God to go ahead and heal my father who lay sick, fe fevered with the dysentery. And so I was happy and willing to go over to his place to go ahead and lay hands on him. The sickness that clung to him like a shadow and it was clear they feared the worst, but I prayed placing my hands on him, calling upon the name of the Lord God in his mercy healed him. We all know of healing. That's one thing, even if they didn't speak the language that I spoke, they understood that what they seen was a miracle that day. And from that moment, word spread across the island. The sick were brought to me one by one and the power of God, they were healed. I could feel the spirit of the Lord moving through this place, turning their hearts from superstition to faith. And it wasn't my hand that healed them. It was the hand of God using me as a vessel. As I lay in my simple quarters at night, I marveled at the ways God works. A shipwreck, a snake, a healing, all of it woven into his plan. None of it was a coincidence. Every moment, every trial, it brought me here to proclaim his name on this island. The people of Malta had shown us kindness and God in return had shown them his love. I knew my journey wasn't over. Soon I would continue on to Rome as God had willed. But for now, I was content to rest in his provision, knowing that his purpose was being fulfilled. Even here on this small island where he had washed ashore by his design. I am Paul, here shipwrecked on this island of Malta.